Mark Savage here, moped time. Welcome to my workshop. Very hot workshop, hence half naked. But however, moped time. We are looking at a Sinus Eagle Moonbreaker. It's got two names. Also, it's got this rocking feature. I don't think it's supposed to have. Anyway, first look, 2T. That means you should get a bit of speed out of this, hopefully. It's not 4T. It has 8,705 kilometers, about just over 5,000 miles. It has a speedo and generalized little bits that go over moped. Let's have a look at it. This is a 2011 Sinus Moonmaker Eagle. Uh, what, you know? Anyway, 2011, 61 plate. We have a speed fire exhaust here, don't we? And sort of speed fight pegs here and this not dissimilar shape to a sort of speed fight and slash air rocks but there you go they all copy the front looks nothing like it we have in the front a single disc dual suspension at the front here two shocks no leakages so far so good cleverly put these side valves on really quite handy really you know when you're pumping up the old tyre a little bit of wind protection? I don't know. Feet, obviously. And usually, the air box is on the same side of the exhaust. And I think that's a bit odd. They've got these little slidey things so you can open it. And the rear wheel, drum brakes. Nice and easy. And here's your variator system. Remember, variator, clutch, belt. Odd sort of kickstart mechanism, I must admit. I like that. Where do you go? It's an easy instruct, nice and easy instruments here. You have your speedo, I love a fuel gauge. Indicator, indicator and high beam. You get, oh, lights on this one. Should have mirrors. Horn. Now if your mirrors aren't on, it comes up on your MOT certificate that the, miss, that the mirrors are missing. Didn't used to. High beam, low beam, indicators cancel and obviously your horn. Lower I don't think these are standard, but they look okay. This is always a bit odd with the key. Get this little square that you can close off and opens again. Nice and easy. Key. That lifts up this little bit here, a bit tight. Underneath we have our 2T oil. Even a toolkit. Don't often get to see them. And twist. And da da. Room enough to get a helmet. Simple petrol. I'm also doing in my workshop. It's leaking 2T oil though. Bad moped. So, what's this moped doing? It's doing what I get asked about nearly every single day with mopeds. Hi Mark, love your videos. My bike won't start. What is it? Oh God, I don't know. How would I know with four words saying it doesn't start? You drive me crazy. Then you Facebook me and ask me the same thing. Ah! Okay, rant over. I don't know, guys. This doesn't start. And I say in all my videos, when was it last serviced? Plug, air filter. Do you know? It's got water in it, check the water. Air filter, do you clean it? Plug, have you changed it? Carburetor, have you cleaned it? There's so many things that can go wrong can't just give it over simple words. So check them first, please. Check if you've got spark. I've got a video on that. I'll do it on this as well now for you. Because this doesn't work. This is what it does. Key in, break in. Won't start. I don't know what it is. So, I'm gonna get the seat out. I'm gonna check the spark plug. I'm going to check if I've got spark. If I've got spark, you move on. Just put it back in again, wipe it all, turn it over again. And if it's a wet plug, you know you've got fuel. Okay? Doesn't mean you've got the right amount of fuel. Carburetor could still do cleaning. Your air filter, that's the next thing. Check that's clean, not got all bugged up with oil and water and crap. So you've cleaned the air filter, you've changed the plug, you've got spark, you know it's wet. Try it over, still not starting. Carburetor. That's what I think this is. Then carburetors, very simple to clean, and I've got videos on everything I've just mentioned. How to check for spark, 
air filter, that's just self-explanatory. I said, if you've got water in some of these, it can run dry, you can knack your piston. This could be piston, I don't know. But with a simple test on the spark plug, you can cancel all your electrics out and say they work. Someone asked me today, <coughs> my battery is turning over. Is it normal now? That's what's doing it. And I've replied as I reply every time. Last service. Look for my little bits, guys. You see, I've got 150 videos now of all mopeds and this one. So, no more moaning. I'm sorry I've had my whinge for the day. But look for the comments. Let's get on with this one. more than I needed to. So I put the front panel off, I took lots of screws out, including the side ones, but you just don't know how many screws you need to take out. So do what I say do it. Look at that. Get to the carburetor now, and this little plastic thing here, rubber thing should I say. Here we go. Not your usual carburetor is it? Boxes. So, any one of these pipes could have split, do something silly, fuel pipes, air pipes, why would you have a pipe that long? I'm going to be cutting that. Now, take pictures, if you're not paying attention, of what you've just done, and separate the bolts and don't mix them up. Always handy. And even you are seasoned like me, I may not come back to this bike in a week. I'd have forgot. Old age. One oil container. Oh, one leaking oil container. Woo! Airbox is a bit less right at the front. I mean, you have to take the oil off to get there. Remember, that's your oil one, okay? Where it goes, it goes into the pump there. Now I'm getting mixed up now. We can get the sparky plug. I'm guessing because it's been so hard to get to that it may have been there a long while. Let's have a look. Awfully hot. What the hell's that? What the? I have never ever, 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 ever seen a spark plug like that. I mean, that's just strange, isn't it? So why are you here and not still me in the shed? Did you ever wonder why your bike sometimes spins when you turn it over? It's this, it's called the Bendix. Okay, this is a speed fight, but they're all the same. Little dog and it kicks out. You see it kicking out? What happens, this just a spin, spin, and that's what you get. Anyway, if you watched my last video on the GSX-R, you noticed that I went out again and the camera had an error on it. Well, it did it to me again. So I finished it off, I found out the spark plug that I was holding, this bolt, but the spark plug was actually from a lawnmower. I don't know why they put it in there. It was the carburetor. Took the carburetor apart, the jets were completely blocked, flushed them all through, perfect. However, I thought two TB faster, Turns out it wasn't, still 32 mile an hour. Now you could have messed around with the old variator system and maybe up jetting it, but personally, wouldn't have done an awful lot really. A bit disappointing really for us in this. 32 mile an hour, that's all you're gonna get out of it. Auto choke, these are generic in every bike. Power on, this little thing comes out, and as you start the bike, it warms up, goes back in again, and that's your auto choke. Need to always talk about, these get bent, and this is bent over slightly here. Anyway, I digress. The carburetor was a bit odd shaped, but it still came off, turned upside down, found the jets, sprayed them all through like I do in the cleaning videos. So watch them. <coughs> I've got a couple of videos, one Lex Moto, one a um, little Scout, I think it is. They're on the end of this video. Watch them, they're helpful advice for you. But generally, do you know that little tiny burgundy one? That did 40 mile an hour. Seems the newer the bike, it seems the more restricted they are. That's why people love these old speed fights. You can mess with these and get 50, 55 miles an hour out of these, if not a little bit more. With the other newer ones, just can't seem to get it. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. We've got some great videos coming up, maybe not for the ped guys, but most certainly for the big boys. Thanks for watching.